mungkin tuh deh. Feeling very tired. I'm very excited about this portion of the pageant. Now, would you say you're feeling nervous? We're tired, I guess. I'd say yes. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but um, I think I can take it. I'm sure you'll ease it. You will. Hit? All right. Now, your question for tonight is: Thank you so much for opening. In your opinion, what role does outstanding sportsmanship play in both sports and everyday life? Once again, in your opinion, what role does outstanding sportsmanship play in both sports and everyday life? The role that outstanding sportsmanship does is Sorry, can I just say the question? Outstanding sportsmanship plays a role in both your everyday lives and sports. Um, wherein we appreciate greatness and that whenever um Sayang. <laughs> Whenever you're faced with challenges, you can always you can always look up to uh, one time limit now. Thank you. Time. One time limit. So in sports in everyday life. Sports. Um, sports much a place of a girl and the fact that we Greatly respect uh, greatness in terms of any craftiness, whether it is sports or whether it is in art such as pageants. Um, we should be able to appreciate these people because we can learn from them. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's our first finalist to experience question and answer portion. Mr. Montilupa City, everybody. Up next, we have Mr. Nueva Ecija. Good evening, brother. Are you ready for your question? Okay. Pick your question from the bowl. And could you open it for us? All right. Question. In the face of adversity, how do you exhibit outstanding sportsmanship and inspire others to do the same? Again? I, I believe that in the face of adversity, we can, we can exhibit outstanding sportsmanship by instilling respect, love, and, and compassion and also integrity in ourselves. And in that way, I believe that we can inspire and influence other people to do the same thing. Thank you so much, Mr. Nuevo Alessia. Up next, we have San Fernando Pampanga. Good evening, brother. How are, you, how are you feeling today? What's going on with your mind? I'm excited to represent the Philippines on an international level. Talk about confidence, ladies and gentlemen. If that's how you feel, go, go ahead and pick a question from the book. From the mysterious role. Mr. Intelligence, Panama. Your question for tonight is, what unique qualities and experiences do you possess that make you deserving of the title of Mr. Grand Philippines? Oh, basically. Once again, what unique qualities and experiences do you possess 
that may be deserving of the title of Mr. Grand Philippines. I feel that the traits that I encompass being a possible Mr. Grand Philippines winner is the fact that I have the humility and the decency to understand and learn. Coming from an international upbringing, I've started to understand that proper communication throughout the world and each other, especially with those that we hate and love, if we all connect together, we can all create a world that is united and champion a great and proud future for the Philippines and the world. Thank you. There you have it, that's Mr. Sanfernando ladies and gentlemen. Up next, let's have Mr. Bulacan. Come on, Raya! Come on, hurry up. Mr. Bulacan, how are you feeling tonight? Making it this far into the competition? Um, I'm just getting tired, but also excited. That's good to know. Are you ready for your question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> That's true. Okay. All right, Mr. Bulacan, your question for tonight is, in recent months, there have been several incidents of athletes using their platform to speak out about social issues. How do you believe the core value of sensible masculinity aligns with athletes' responsibility to use their voice for positive change? Once again, in recent months, there have been several incidents of athletes using their platform to speak out about social issues. How do you believe the core value of sensible masculinity aligns with athletes' responsibility to use their voice for positive change? Um, uh, thank you for that wonderful question. Uh, for me, uh, that's just uh, in, uh, in athlete, but in general, you know, having that uh, sensible masculinity is as a person of love. Kasi rin wala ko na if you look deep inside uh, dun sa pagkatao or dun sa personality ng tao magkakaroon tayo ng unity uh, may itindihan natin as long as we know how to, to support yung differences mo uh, and yung masculinity kasi it shows no gender for me and I believe na I, as an individual I, uh, I stand for equality thank you here we have it, that's Mr. Bulacan, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we have Mr. Quezon City. Go ahead. Oh. Your fans are still alive, miraculously. And on that note, do you have any risk for those people shouting? Go ahead, kahit parang gabi pa shouting. Thank you, sir. 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 Gabi pa shouting. With that being said, you may now pick a question from the bull. Step forward. Sanya san mo sila? Na. Step forward. The question is, what steps can we take to ensure gender equality becomes a reality in all aspects of life? including professional sports. In terms of jobs, in terms of sports. Once again, the question is, what, step, what steps can we take to ensure gender equality becomes a reality in all spec aspects of life? Including professional sports. The first step we should do is respect ad athletes, respect different type of athletes. That... Respect. Respect different type of athletes and diverse, diverse athletes. We should support female sports to have to bring 
to give to give them the same amount of money that men earn in sports, not just in real life. We should support women, and we should and we should start creating a world where equality is the standard. And that's all. Thank you. Up next, we have Mr. Laguna. He is Carl Nicole Santiago. Good evening, Carl. Are you ready? Okay. Make your question from the book. The question for tonight is, what are some effective ways to promote diversity and inclusion in sports, ensuring equal opportunities for athletes from all backgrounds. Once again, what are some effective ways to promote diversity and inclusion in sports, ensuring equal opportunities for athletes from all backgrounds? Hi, good evening. There are a lot of ways on how we can promote inclusivity and diversity. And some of which are implementation of anti-discrimination policies, promoting diverse leadership, and actively recruiting from underrepresented communities. And through this, we can lessen complexity and find beauty in diversity. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Laguna, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, let's have Mr. Pangasinan. Dark Horse. He is BJ Rosario. Good evening, brother. The question is, limitless potential is a core principle of this pageant. How do you envision utilizing your potential to make a lasting impact in your community? I will utilize my potential by creating educational program and um, mentoring younger individuals. Um, seek influence for um, uh, policy changes and uh, uh, creating a um, program for underprivileged students. Thank you. You did please said, Mr. Pangasana. Thank you for that. And that note, let's invite here on stage and on the ramp, Mr. San Pascual Matangas. Shobi, how are you feeling tonight? I know that you can do it, brother. Go ahead, take your question from the road. The question for tonight is, education is a powerful tool for personal growth and societal progress. How would you advocate for equal access to education, particularly for marginalized communities? Education again, for all. Education is a powerful tool for personal growth and societal progress. Epa. How would you advocate for equal access to education, particularly for marginalized communities? Thank you for the question. I believe some institution has the program for free access education, but what does is the commitment and implementation. So I can then advocate for free access education by going to marginalized community, be with them physically, and spread awareness that we have a lot of free education access of state university. Together we can create Positive impact in our society and build a brighter future for our next generation. Thank you. Thank you so much for the answer. Up next, let's have Mr. Ologabo City. He is Clarence Joy Abue. Good evening.
This question is, in the realm of current events, what global issue do you believe requires immediate attention and what steps would you take to address it? First and foremost, as an engineering student, is one of our priorities is the safety and security of our clients. Because for us, every single lives do matter. Just like the lives of every innocent and collateral to, from the bloody war between the Israelis and Palestinians. So I will use my voice to encourage each and every one of you to let us be united and let us use our voice to call out the authority to use their power to lessen the conflict and to save the children, the family, the innocent people and to give them a greater life than they deserve. Thank you. My God. Galeng. That's Mr. Ologo Masili, everybody.